It is over 30 months since he was inaugurated as senator representing Osun Central Senatorial District. Senator Ajibola Basiru on Monday gave his stewardship report. The lawmaker, who is the chairman of the Senate Committee on Media and Publicity, said his representation has stuck with the pact he had with the people during the electioneering process in 2019. Which I call my pact with Osun people and which we publicly advertise and use as a manifesto. It was published September 2018, shortly after I secured the endorsement and support of leadership of my party to carry the banner of the party. And that uh, is what we have set, I mean, to do. Flanked by the Chief Press Secretary to Governor Goyega Itola, Mr. Ismail Omikwidon, and his senior legislative aide, Mr. B.C. Babalola, the lawmaker gave his stewardship report at the constituency office in Oshogbo, the state capital. Speaking on the special intervention projects he has been able to attract to his constituency, Ajibola Basiru have executed the following projects. In the year 2020 appropriation, I have been able to facilitate projects close to 1.6 billion to also central central district. And the highlight of those projects are there Almost all the projects, except one, have been completed. And the one that is, uh, has not been completed is the Agricultural Entrepreneur Skill Development Center, which is located in Awosulu, in the Shoko West LCDA, which land was given to us by Governor Oyetola, and it's already at moving stage. So in the couple of weeks, we are going to complete. Except for that, all other projects that were facilitated in the 2020 appropriation were duly completed 100%. This includes training, empowerment, construction of blocks of classroom, and facilitation of road. As you can see, the road from uh, uh, entry from Abakuya up to uh, the uh, Asaluddin Grammar School in Oshubu were duly initiated and were completed. So it's not a case of any project being abandoned that we facilitated. And that's because we ensure that we isolate ourselves from procurement process and from dabbing into the process of implementation of those uh, projects. And in terms of uh, community engagement and reach to our, our constituents, I would say that uh, many people would not know whether actually a legislator in Abuja or a, a citizen residing here, because hardly will there be a period of 10 days that I will not be in uh, Oshubu and elsewhere all over the constituency. Of course, during the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, it was challenging, but then we made intervention, which we did not publicly announce. And I think uh, Mr. Tony Yusu was always nudging me that I was blinking in the dark. But I said, matter of charity and matter of humanitarian intervention should not be politicized. But what we did, we can make it public now. We set up a, that, a, a center whereby we have phone numbers, receiving calls from vulnerable constituents, and we sent I mean, uh, resources in terms of money to them. We also distributed food to vulnerable uh, in the society to ensure that as part of our process to alleviate the challenge of COVID-19. Of course, we produce face masks and we also facilitated water and sanitation I mean, project to market in also central central districts. As I speak today, uh, all our markets in also central are uh, enjoy the benefit of having solar light to ensure that traders are able to trade far into the evening and then derive I mean, the benefit of uh, not having to use uh, their hard earned money to be using small small lantern with asados. As I speak now, all the palaces in the central are also being covered by solar electrification. And in terms of uh, empowerment, we also ensure that we get uh, our people a COVID loan about uh, five about uh, 50 constituents uh, were able to get access at minimum of 700,000 COVID loan intervention from the CBN. From the uh, Ministry of Trade and Investment, we get about 383 uh, uh, constituents to get uh, the intervention in terms of grants. And we also facilitated employment for some of our uh, the constituents and as well grants I and mean, scholarship to some indigenous students in the constituency. That is the broad overview. And of course, we have also, in the political realm, worked towards collaborating with the government and the governor of Aladi Boyega to ensure delivery of qualitative governance in the state. And as a politician, we have also worked 
assiduously in stabilizing and ensuring cohesion and development of our party, the Progressive Party, the APC, in the state of Washington. As the main rule, of every National Assembly member is to contribute to lawmaking in the country. Dr. Ajibola Basiru highlighted some of the legislations he has actively participated in in their drafting and legislative processes. I'm one of the leading uh, senators in Nigeria that is in the forefront of the making of very impactful legislations in Nigeria, specifically Petroleum Industry Act. Uh, I am a member of both the Petroleum Upstream and that stream and the sector, and uh, I participated actively in ensuring that uh, the jinx of not having a law regulating the most important and vital sector of the Nigerian economy uh, was made by a democratic government. The extant uh, law was made during military era in the 60s. I was also actively involved in the passage of the Company and Other Matter Act, as well as the World Banks and Other Financial Institution Act. And of course, the recently I mean, concluded electoral act. I'm the only member of the Southwest uh, in the Senate that participated in the harmonization I mean, committee. And uh, we uh, thank God that uh, that uh, is in, in introducing innovations that will ensure free, fair, and transparent election in Nigeria. Part of the reform in the new constitution that we're working upon is devolution. Of powers uh, to the states along certain fundamental areas, and for instance, incorporation of business, and so on and so forth, which will be unfolded after our, our retreat uh, on uh, Monday. As his party, the All Progressive Congress in Osun State, goes to the primary election on February 19, 2022, to elect the party's flag bearer. The Osogbobon politician again reiterated his choice of candidates. He said he is solidly behind Governor Goye Gawitola, calling on party members who have different opinions to test their popularity at the party's shadow election slated for February 19. I'm with my party, All Progressive Congress, the party that has seen it fit to give me the mandate to represent it at the general election. And I'm also with the people of Oslo Central. The people of Oslo Central have elected me to represent them both in the National Assembly and politically. Uh, from my own understanding and analysis of development of politics in uh, Oshun here today, I believe our people and my people in Oshun Central will benefit immensely from continuous governance of Alaji Goigo Itola. My preference is to support Governor Itola to secure the mandate of our party in the April and the February 19 primary, and ultimately to work assiduously and ensure its success in the uh, 2022 July 16 elections. As it still has close to one and a half years at the National Assembly, the people of Osun Central look forward to more dividend of democracy delivered to their doorsteps by the representation of Senator Ajibola Basiru. From Oshobo, Jari, Tiamiyu, Inside Lakes TV.